All right, guys, they have everyone muted. Um, I ask that you stay on mute. Sorry. So that we can minimize background noise. Um, my dogs will be leaving momentarily. And I'm going to start the recording now. Um, at seven o'clock, we'll call the meeting to order. Everyone should have received their minutes at the last meeting. Are there any additions or corrections? No, I'm good as, with the minutes as presented. Then I will make a motion to accept the, or the secretary's minutes. Do I have a second? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Hi. I think you have Tony muted. Well, he can unmute himself. I support it. Yeah. Rick, I'm are you good on? With I don't see Rick on. I don't think so. Casey, yeah. I didn't hear you though, right? Yeah, I got you. Okay. I got you. Um, I do not believe that we received a treasurer's report for this month. At least I did not get one. Uh, I got it today. Joanne sent it a couple hours ago, I believe. All right. Well, I personally haven't had a chance to look at it then because I didn't get it or haven't seen it. So any issues, questions? I haven't had a chance to review it. All right. So... Leave it till next month? Yeah, I think that's what we'll have to do. All right. Uh, reading of the bills, we did have three commissioners review them. Sorry. Um, I do believe there were a couple of questions on the bills though. Yes. Um, the questions I had, Joanne sent me an email earlier and answered most of them. Um, I'm looking for what, where that. So the last I saw, um, there was questions on voucher 24 and 25, which was the ITS and the CEIS. Yep. Um, and at that point we were not paying them. I'm requesting us not to pay. Um, I believe it was voucher number four for ITS for the phone contract system. It's the 24? maintenance system. Yes. Okay. So 24 and 25, we're not paying. All right. So then I will make a motion to pay vouchers one through 23 and 26 through 30 for a total of $118,753.18. I will second that. Becky? Yes. Chris? Yes. Rick? Rick's not on yet. No, no Rick. Tony? Yes. Casey? Yes. Thank you. Communications. Um, we received a very nice Christmas card from CS Arch. Did it? Uh, commissioner's reports, general. 2021 orga organizational meeting will be Tuesday, January 12th at 7 p.m. at Baldwinsville Station 1. And then continuously, um, same as this year, the monthly meetings will be the second Tuesday of every month, and the workshops will be the fourth Tuesday of every month. And luckily for us, there are no holiday conflicts this time. Becky, I think we're still gonna be on Zoom in January. As of right now, I'd say yes. Agreed, okay. Yeah. 
Um, with that, I did mention, um, I'm gonna just because we're talking about it, our new attorney offered to attend some of our meetings, uh, but he asked me to let him know which ones we'd like him to attend so he could block that out. Does anyone have a preference? I was thinking once a quarter. Do you think we should have a more than that? I was going to suggest um, either once every other month or once a quarter. So I think we're on the same page. Uh, okay. I, I think it's good, good checks and balances for us. Chris, what do you think? I agree. At least once a quarter. Um, I was thinking of saying the organizational meeting, but I don't know if we really want him going, sitting there through all the, um, you know, beginning portion of that or not. I don't know if it's a waste of time. We could have him hop on like an hour into it. Yeah. It, I just didn't want to see us waste the time, him re, uh, listening through all the resolutions and, and everything. Right. Yeah, I mean, well, maybe we'll have him start with February. Um, and then see how it goes if we want him. And there's always, if we have a special meeting or something that we want him to attend, we just ask him to. We know that there's something big going on and we want him to be there. Definitely. Would you, okay. What were you saying, Rick? I was just going to say with the with the January meeting, we usually do don't do a whole lot of controversial business because it's such a long meeting with swearing in and stuff. It's usually so I would say not have them attend the January, but I agree once a quarter, whether it's February or something else. Look at Rick being all festive. <laughs> nice to see you, Frank. How are you feeling? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Eh, not bad. It's, That's uh, good. It's it's a pretty nice view on the 12th floor. So, All right. Administration, I don't have anything specific. We're still working through um, employee reviews. I'm just waiting for some feedback on the reviews, and then we'll get with the employees on them. Chris, did you have anything additional? No, I didn't. Uh, financial, I don't have anything with financial. Um, nothing currently is in the works. Unless, Rick, you have something? No, I don't. Okay. Truck maintenance. Tony or Casey? I, honestly, knock on wood, there's not a, a lot going on. I do think we uh, should put, you know, determine the squad is uh, surplus and get that sold if we can. I, I I'm not sure if there's been other plans, that, but we haven't talked about it. But it just needs to be on the horizon. I'm not going to start PMs until March. Um, and, and I did them earlier last year, but then I had to have send them back to pump test. So as long as I don't have any issues, I'm not going to start until March. And I'll bring that up, and I'll do an RTP for all the PMs then. Okay. Um, yeah, if, if the intention is to sell the squad, um, let me know if that's what we want to do, and I'll have to get a resolution together to the excuse me to surplus it. Any feedback? I agree. I I thought we were going to sell the squad as surplus. I, that's what sounded like with the chief. So, all right, I'll have a resolution for January then. We'll add it to the one millionth and one. <laughs> all right, building and grounds, Jeff. Uh, yes, on uh, Monday we had the town inspections of station one and two. They went very well. He we found a couple minor little things, not a big deal. Um, also, last Friday, the generator work was done on the three, the two batteries and the radiator at Lysander was done on Friday. Um, also Monday, the electrical inspector did the inspection of the pole barn electric. Uh, it passed, had a couple minor things. He passed it, so, and I corrected the problem. I just got to send him the pictures of it. And then also starting tomorrow, Tomorrow and Friday, he's going to do the sprinkler sprinkler inspections for Beville Station 1 and 2. He's going to do Station 1 tomorrow and Station 2 on Friday. 
Jeff, would that did they ever finish the sprinkler system at station two? Yes, they did. Okay. Everything's done. Yep. That's all I have. Great. Uh, now, also with the pole barn electric, uh, I just got to finish back filling. I'm going to do that Friday, and then that project will be done. Nice. Thank you. All right. Stores, Wayne. Um, first off, I have the um, RTPs from the workshop. So um, they're all listed. The only one that was, I have one additional one that was added to that um, for station three, a couple pieces of hardware for the uh, doors that were requested, some um, door stops and um, door latch protectors well as uh, we needed uh, the soap proportioners for station three for the uh, truck soap and the uh, floor cleaner. So, um, you need me to reread all the RTPs or? No, I don't think so. Yeah. So your debt total there has everything, Wayne? 3,467, yes. Yes, that's the total of all of the RTPs that were from the workshop plus that one additional one. Okay. Um, anybody have any questions? No, I do not. If not, I'll make a motion to move forward with RTPs 1936 through 1940, 1943, 1944, and 1952 for three thousand four hundred sixty-seven dollars and seventeen cents. I'll second, I'll second that. that. Okay, go ahead, Chris. <laughs> um, a couple additional things. Oh, All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Um, I have one additional item that um, I was looking for for uh, the stores area. I need four additional uprights to finish the racking. Um, the layout is different than what TSR um, did down in the layout, so I need just the four uprights. We have enough of everything else to do what we need. And in getting pricing for that, with the shipping, it's going to be $600 for those four uprights. So I was just looking to see if I can't get those ordered so that we can finish up the uh, setup in that stores area. Do you have an RTP number? Um, RTP 1953. 1953? Yes. Okay. I'll make a motion for RTP 1953 for $600 for the additional racking we need. I'll suck at that form. Thank you. And then uh, just an update, the dry hydrants were all completed. Jeff and I went out, um, I believe it was last week, and we got those all changed over. So they're all set up for six inch um, hard suction so that we don't have any issues when people go over to the dry hydrants. All six of them in Lysander have been changed over. So if anybody has any issues with them, um, they are, we, Kind of secured them on there the best we could. So hopefully we don't have any issues with that. Um, if anything, once we use them, we may have to just go back and tighten them up, make sure that there isn't any air leaks on them. So I know it's getting cold, so we really can't go out and test them, but um, we should probably make sure that they're efficient for what we need. So other than that, I don't have anything else. Is, is the chief on? I don't have my participant list up. Is John yeah, here? Oh, okay. So you're you're all aware that was all all being done, John. And... I am now. Okay. Oh, other than that, I'm done.
Chris, you had a couple of requests. Yep. Um, so RTP 1820 um, is for some uh, equipment I need for the station one training room, uh, the projector setup I have in there. Um, I need a, uh, a switch for the HDMIs and an audio extractor uh, for a total of 139.98. Um, Station three, the TV, uh, the TVs for I am responding uh, in the bays, the officer's room, and the meeting room. It's a total of four TVs for $1,159.96. The, um, the, the wall mounts for those TVs, a total of four wall mounts, as well as two mounts um, to hold computers behind the TVs for a total of $161.94. Um, RTP 1823 is for AM graphics. This is for um, actual nice made signs for um, the mask uh, required signs, 20 of those. Um, then lettering and decals for removal and install of all of our apparatus, um, squads, uh, Lysander squad one, Bonzo squad two and three, um, Lysander rescue seven, engine one, engine seven, tanker one, and truck one. It'd be removal and removal of the patch on the rear doors and the either Lysander Fire District or Baldwinsville Fire Department on the front door and replacing it with Northwest on the front door and our patch on the back door, just the same as we did with uh, Rescue 7, or Rescue 6, sorry. Um, with that, um, a couple Northwest, or Northwest Fire patch decals and Baldwinsville and Lysander patch decals to um, make them more standard for a total of $3,246.80. And the last one I have is RTP 1824 for three new desktop computers from Advanced IT for a total of $2,250. So I have some questions. Yep. Chris, on the TVs for the for I'm responding. Yes. Is there is there a reason why we can't use the the TVs that we have? Because so, we got two TVs at Station Three. We've got a TV in Lysander at Station Two. I mean, couldn't we use those for I'm responding? They're very small um, for that space and where we would mount them. It's possible to use them. The one in Lysander is 32 inches. The one uh, the one that's in Baldwin Station Three. Uh, that's in the truck bay for I'm responding is a 28 inch. They're just going to be very small and they're getting a little on the old side. So, um, if, they work, if, if you want to put it like in the officer's room or a meeting room, couldn't you do that with the smaller ones? Cause you're not as big of a space as a truck bay. You could. So, so did we have monitors going in any of those spots that Becky's talking about? Was there one plan for the yes, officer's there, room? Was there? There was one plan for the officer's room, yes. Okay. Was there anything planned for um, other spots where we might be able to utilize that size, like the hallway or? I didn't like have that? anything planned yet. Okay. Um, we'd have to add some sort of we'd have to put a computer to run it behind it, which we can with, you know, one of the ones that we do have. Uh, the point of the three desktops is to kind of reallocate some of the older computers to running just a screen instead of, you know, putting a new one behind it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not looking to add, I'm just looking to see if we can utilize yep. those TVs and save the expense is all was where I was going with it. If, if yeah. we had them in rooms where they could be utilized versus buying some uh, new TVs. We could definitely utilize it, uh, one in the officer's room, um, and, and cut back on one of the TVs. 
Um, the meeting room, I would suggest that we get something new definitely for that. You need something big that's actually going to, you know, fit nice against that wall. Um, and then the apparatus base, they're, they're going to be higher up. And I don't think the ones that we have sitting there are going to be good for it. Okay. So. Um, where are the three computers, desktops going? So one of them will be uh, replacing the district secretary or district treasurer's computer. Um, the current district treasurer's computer is running Windows 7 and needs to be replaced immediately. Um, so hold on one second, guys. I'm just guessing. How's everybody doing? Hey, I just got a, I just got a text from uh, the president. Uh, it reads, "People bought and donated the TV in the radio room for the department at Station Three." You wrote Claude did. I don't know if that's relevant to the conversation, but uh, that that I don't know if that is relevant or not. Like bought. <laughs> Huh? Like you bought a new TV and donated it? Or you donated the one that's there? The one that's there, I think. The is. one that's okay. there. Okay. Well, I think, I mean, this is my personal opinion, but if it's there and it can be utilized and it's working fine, I say we bring it with us and just purchase three new ones. There's no sense to buy or replace something that works perfectly fine. Right. I, I do agree with Chris that the, we need bigger ones the truck person where it makes sense. So um, I hope Chris is okay. Jeez, it makes me nervous. I'm guessing he's getting a nurse visit. <laughs> Maybe he's so. having a sponge bath. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when does he come home, did he say? I don't think he said. No. Or at least he didn't say to me. <laughs> Well, we, so, so we, at this point, we agree, Rick, you, you want to take one of them out. Can't we, you know, make the motion to go with three, you know, and. We can, but I, I, with Rick, I'd like to know where are those other desktops going? And I was going to ask about the, uh, the lettering, um, you know, originally I thought that maybe we could we could use repair and reserve, but uh, because if we're changing all the district lettering, but I think uh, I was talking to Becky at the election last night, and she doesn't think we could do that. And if we can't do that, I don't see where we're going to do anything with the lettering until the new budget year, because I don't if 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 we can't use it from a reserve fund, I I don't, I don't think we can swing that thirty two hundred bucks. You can probably take it out of the truck fund, but I just don't know that you can take it out of repair and reserve. I just don't think it's going to fit the parameters of what that count was set up for. Right. I, I guess my take it out of the truck fund. Yeah, I guess my point is if we could use some type of reserve account, we we just can't use the operating funds because I don't think I don't think we had that kind of a cushion through the rest of the year. I mean, I'm I'm personally am in favor of getting this changeover done because it would be all the equipment and it would be done, but it also needs to make sense financially that we have the money to be able to do it, so obviously. Yeah, I mean, I can, um, if we're gonna take it out of one of the funds, we gotta do it as a resolution. Um, so we'd have to wait until so January. So we'll have to wait until January anyways.
So do you want to keep going and jump back to this when he comes back online or what do you want to do? Yeah, about? we can. Yeah. Um, I don't want to hold so, people up. So the next thing would be security and computers. So I don't know if you've got anything for that. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> but I'm sure probably Chris does. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get that. Let's go to um, Bell Hopper with safety. Yeah, just to recap, um, first aid injury was uh, suffered a couple weeks back. With minor follow-up indicated uh, no further issues and it's been classified as the first aid. The learnings from it, uh, they were moving material off a shelf. Probably a good idea to be looking where you're moving material around off of things, especially if it's been sitting around for a while. Uh, but uh, essentially the individual was treated and released there at the station, did not go to the hospital. Um, N95 respirator status, uh, working on that still. Procedures being revised, which I have. Uh, Sean has worked through the training part of it and we're still waiting for some of the parts and pieces to show up and Wayne's got a grip on that. Um, so we, I talked to Jan a lot of motion. She, was able, she will be able to support us on the uh, OSHA questionnaire for these respirators. And we're making some changes to her paperwork and our paperwork to reflect that. Last thing, physicals, uh, I show 11. There's 11 remaining and due by the end of this year. I've gone ahead and tried to pull some people around with moderate success last week and try to do the same here. Um, I mean, those that have illness that, that called in said they're ill. I have to follow up on work uh, issues where somebody may have to work. Jan will come in days, evenings, nights, mornings, whatever we want as long as we schedule her so she knows what she's you know, going to come in to do. So we've got her support. Um, these masks will have to be fit tested according to the OSHA 1910 134 standards. So um, that's what she'll help us accomplish. We'll do the fit testing. She'll do the procedure of paperwork overwrite, complete the forms. So we'll be in good shape there. Um, that's it. Did you have something, Becky? No. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did not have anything. So good. Um, I don't think Chris is back yet. So um, if nobody has anything else for Hopper, we'll move on to Chief Rosique. Uh, good evening. Uh, as you guys can read, there were 58 alarms for Baldwinsville, nine alarms for Lysander, including a significant grass fire, uh, which required multiple companies working through the evening into the darkness. Um, and unfortunately, we were able to safely extinguish that. Um, the CPR updates that I provided in the quotes, do you need those read again uh, for approval so we can maintain proper uh, training standards or what would you like to do there? So you didn't give them to Wayne to assign an RTP or anything? I gave copies, yeah. They were there that night. He says he doesn't have anything. All right. Um, you guys, all the commissioners, you have them. They were emailed to you at our November workshop with along with the agenda. Because it was in, it was on Zoom. That's why. Um, John, or me, one of you, can you re, re email it to Wayne? Yep. Does anybody have any questions on it or want to rehear the totals? No, I, w I was okay with it. I was supportive of it. And I know there's money in the EMS budget. I, we just need the number to be able to put it into the motion and the RTP number so we can get it all down. Sorry, guys. The uh, amount that I have about? on here, the amount that I have on here, 567 for the family pack and $300 for the BLS instructor set and provider manual. So 867 total. total. 6794. 6794. Okay. Uh, assign 1954 as the RTP. 
Okay, so I will make a motion to move forward with RTP 1954 for a total of $867.94. Do I have a second? Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Uh, that's all I have. I know Commissioner Courier had some questions on previous policies that I can answer whenever you're ready. Chris, why don't you go back to your RTPs and then we can, we can okay. come back to that. Yeah. Where did we leave off here? The three uh, desktop computers, I think. Yep. So you said one was for Joanne. One was for Joanne. Um, hold on. One is for Joanne. Um, one is going to replace uh, the computer for the radio room of station three. Uh, new station three, the one that's in there right now is, uh, it was just an extra, but that one's having issues as well as the one at station three currently in the radio room is recommended for replacement by the IT provider, as well as the computer in uh, the radio room at station one is recommended for replacement as well. Chris, uh, I have a question for you. These new computers, do they include speakers? We have several members that use the radio room computers to complete their OSHA training, and there's no speaker set up. Uh, no, they don't, but I have, um, I have several sets of speakers that are um, sitting in either storage at Lysander One or Bonzo One, so I can get a set down there for them. Thank you. Chris, if we only do three television, what's that bring the total to? So let's see. If we take one out. Uh, it drops the to 959 and 97 cents. And can we drop a mount as well? Uh, I mean, you're still planning on replacing it with one of the ones that's at the other station, correct? Right. It, yeah, we should be able to. Um, they, they, the, I don't know what the mounts that are there are, but they all are pretty much universal nowadays. So okay, shouldn't be a problem. Um, let me see here. And that would drop this one to to 121.95. All right, so that would adjust the total minus the lettering to $3,471.90. What was it back, 3,000? 471.90. Yep. Thank you. Yep. What's your pleasure, gentlemen? Well, um, I'll I'll make a motion to go ahead with that the three seventy one nine or three thousand four seventy one ninety. Um, I'll make that in the form of the motion, but we got to go back and talk about the lettering now that Chris is back. Okay. Do I have a second? I'll second. All in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. So what was your, about well, the lettering? I, I, I absolutely support the lettering. The question is, do we have the money to do it now or does it have to wait to the next, till we get the new money, you know, our new budget money? That was the question. If you're going to take it out of a reserve fund, we've got to go to resolution and you got to wait 30 days from the resolution date. Which 30 days, what? That's, so you're looking at February. Yeah. Um, it would do. Do we not? Do we not have the the money now? I'm it's not 100. percent I'm. Yeah, I was going to say I'm not 100 percent sure we do or we don't, but I don't want to take the chance. Well, I, I agreed. I certainly don't want to, you know, sweat over some lettering here for right. For, if it makes sense to wait 30 days or 60 days, and that's what we should do. If we're not 100% confident, we have the, the money right second. Chris, you hearing that, buddy? Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm looking through the, um, the, the budget versus actual. I, I, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think we do, and I'm not, I'm not comfortable doing it. I mean, I, I'd look through the budget for the actual and our truck, bud, our truck expenditures are almost double what the budget is. And that's just one general area. It's, you know, there's a few spots where we're, we're under, but there's a lot of spots where we ran over and it's just like Tony said, believe me, I, I want to, I want to move forward with this as much as anybody, but it's lettering and it's, it's not, it's not critical that it has to get done right now or in the next 30 days or, you know, we, we've waited seven years to do this, you know? Hey, based off of that, you know, let's not, you know, that, that, that 3000 bucks might come in handy somewhere else in an emergency. Maybe we hold off, you know, and just revisit it you know, uh, February, you know, the February, just put it on the agenda well, to talk about it in February. Well, Tony, if we're, if we're going to take it out of the truck fund and use it, then we just need to present the resolution next month and then wait 30 days and it can be done. It's just, we can't do it right now because the money's not right. in the operating budget. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. I get. I'll write up a, I'll write up a resolution and have it for January's meeting. Okay. All right, so is that everything that you had, Chris? Yep, that's everything I had. Okay, did you have anything under security and computers? The, the, I mean, the desktop Nothing. computers, yeah. Okay. Oh, um, just uh, I think here. Um, as, as you guys know, we are up online with uh, the Doyle system at station three now. Um, it's going to be very limited it's not the system software is not supported like i talked about until we do the upgrade i still have not gotten any numbers back from doyle yet i'm fighting with them on getting me that information very displeased with their service they're providing right now um on that side their service techs when they came out and hooked it up they worked quite long time with our it company to make sure everything worked and went up and running so that was great but um, still waiting on that other stuff. Um, we hit safety, we hit chief's comments. Um, so we're up to nominations and resignation. Back oh, back, we got to go back. Yeah, I okay. want to go back to the chiefs. Okay. Rick, do you want to go first? Well, I'm sorry. It was just, I didn't want to, I didn't want to blow by uh, Chris's, Chris's questions uh, to. Oh, John's uh, stuff um, yes. about the uh, out of district membership and stuff. I didn't want that to get lost. So, yeah, and and my questions on it, I wasn't here in the October meeting um, I, or the October workshop, and I know you guys talked about it then, um, Chief. When you sent these out originally back, and I think it was like early September, late August, I, I wrote back a bunch of 
comments and questions I had, and I just never heard back on them. So I didn't know where we stood. Um, I addressed, I actually read each question that you had at the meeting um, into the, it was recorded into the minutes, and then I gave copies of those to Megan digitally um, with some recommended changes. Um, I don't believe I got a chance to update it with all the changes discussed that night, but I thought that it was going to be addressed with the new attorney as to see what changes were required. Um, the attorney uh, retained by the district um, happened to be at the firehouse for an SOG meeting, and um, I gave him copies of the policies along with the changes um, made and questions that you had but I can certainly go over your questions. I have them right in front of me and try and answer them for you as, as well as possible. If they're in the minutes that I missed them and I'll have to go back through, but um, did I'd you be happy to sit down with you and go over them as well. Um, but I, again, I have not gotten a reply from any other required changes recommended by, um, by the attorney. Um, I don't know if you guys submitted to him officially um, for review or changes, but uh, I haven't received any of that to adapt it further. Okay, so per the workshop meeting, uh, workshop minutes from October, it was left that Chief, Chief Rosique will make the necessary updates to the forms and bring it back to the board for discussion. Okay, well, I haven't done that. I can submit them to you and give them to you, um, but I have not updated it completely. I was waiting for information that apparently I was incorrect on. Hey, Megan, do you have that digital copy that John gave us that night that you could forward to Chris? Because that might have had, I think that answered a bunch of the questions that Chris had. Yeah, if he sent that to me, I should be able to forward that on. I'll okay. find it. I save you. everything. Chris, why don't you read that and see if it takes care of your questions or most of them. And yeah. John Absolutely. did cover quite a few of them at the at the workshop in that document. I just I have mine filed already, so I don't have it in front of me. Are we still on that same topic, or we move? I, I want to talk to the, the chief, but it's a different topic. I don't want to get lost here. We can keep we can keep moving forward. So I'll I'll read it when I when I get it. So, Chief, we had talked. I don't know the last quarter or two. How, are are do you have in place or or where are you at with station responses um, regarding around the first of the year? I know it's not a hundred percent. You know, black and white. Our call or your call. You working with fire control, but. How close are we to making that happen in, in the box alarm assignments and all that stuff? So box alarm assignments have been reviewed by the chief, chief's office and are currently under, um, they were taken as notes and changes and Chief Natoli is currently typing those up so they can be formally submitted to fire control. Um, it will be zone response um, specifically and, and it changes the dispatch to dispatches the Northwest Fire District. They cannot implement those changes immediately. So even if we sent them to them a month ago, they couldn't implement them for the first of the year type thing to take effect. Plus the new chiefs don't take effect until the organizational meeting. So we had a go live date of January 13th, the night after the organizational meeting uh, in case there are any issues was what we had met with um, Mr. Salmons about fire control. And that was the date uh, waiting on final projects. I do have the email correspondence for Mr. Salmons going forward. Um, it will Northwest car one, Northwest car two, um, and then battalion one, two, and three for the zone appropriate chief officers. Um, they will um, just call out as that as it seemed most appropriate instead of having a car five in service all the time and confusing neighboring districts. You answered all my questions. Thank you. I was I didn't even have to ask the rest. You answered my question. Thank you very much. Yep. So your assistants are going to be known as battalions, John? 
the, uh, the assistant chiefs will be known as battalions, correct? Simply so that we don't have a CAR-5 and confuse neighboring fire districts all the time. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, under membership, there are no changes um, to membership at all. No um, resignations or new members. Old business, station three update. Um, things are slowly coming together. Um, the plumbing company was out today to install the last piece. Um, but they said it would probably take today and tomorrow before they can get all the wiring and everything that they needed hooked up for it. Um, once that piece is completed and tested, we can then get signed off on for the plumbing. Once that happens, we can then talk to them about getting our CO. Um, the station will probably not be 100% complete. Um, there's a couple of minor things that the contractors might have to come back and just do on our punch list, um, but we could occupy the building and respond out of it. Um, so we're hopefully um, looking at the week before Christmas to move in. Um, they're fairly confident as long as we can get the CO that we can move on, move in the weekend of the 18th. Um, but again, it's contingent on the CO. The CO might be, we're asking for a CO based on, we know that there's one thing that has to be fixed um, and it's a concrete pad. And we're asking, gonna ask for a 30 day, um, basically a CO with a 30 day to get that repaired. Um, but we'll see what they say once they come out to look at it. Um, so. Fingers crossed December 18th that weekend, um, but I won't swear to it. Uh, along those lines, um, just so everyone knows the um, a little bit of a math error um, and the approval of stuff from last November's workshop um, actually was $588 less than um, what was asked for. So a little bit of a savings there. Um, however, in the spirit of saving $588, I sent a list earlier to the commissioners um, with some furnishings that we need to get to complete the station. Um, so while they have an itemized list of some of the things that we need, I don't have um, the exact pricing on all of it. So I'm asking for a motion to spend and where's my sheet? Out here. Um, what did I you do? You need the total? Yeah. Uh, it was just okay. a little shy of $8,000. Okay. And that was using the 5,500 on the cafe table. Yep. Um, so I'd like to make a motion to have, to be able to spend up to 8,000 for furnishings. Um, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's gonna be that easy because there's a lot of things that I need to, things that we need in order to get into the station and I've been kind of going through and looking at them but I'm finding sale prices but I can't get the stuff because I don't have approval. Um, and I'm hoping that none of the stuff goes off of sale before I can get in and get approval and order it. Um, so that's why I was looking for the blanket statement. The one thing that I am probably not going to run right out and get is that table. Um, there is a cafe style table, which is just a bar height type of table um, that's supposed to go in the area between the seats and the, the bar, the- Kitchen area. Kitchen area. Um, that seem, that's like the most expensive item um, in the whole, like that itself equals everything else that we need to get. Um, and I was looking at what Elizabeth had sent me. It doesn't seem like it's something that I can get at, at General because it's gotta be kind of a specialty store. She sent me three different companies that carry them, um, but because of the length of the table, cause it's gonna be that really long, um, it seems to be jacking up the cost of it. So I'm going to do a little bit more research, but I'm not going to do anything on that end until I send it out to all of the commissioners and have you look at it. Um, 
because I just don't, <clears throat> I'm not sure what to do with that. And I don't really want to spend five grand if we can spend three grand, if you know we can figure something else out. <clears throat> Becky, I'm going to send you that contact I have at WB Mason. Yeah. Um, okay. they, they do stuff like that also. Yep. So that's my I'll, ask. I'll make a motion to spend up to $8,000 on additional station three furnishings. Second? I'll second that. Becky? Uh, Megan, you should do a roll call for yep. the amount. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Becky? Yes. Chris? Yes. Rick? Yes. Tony? Yes. Casey? Yes. Thank you. Is there any other old business before we move on? There's nothing else on the agenda, but does anybody have anything that go off the top of their head? I don't. All right, then we'll move on to new business. Uh, um, resolution 2035. This is to standardize the exhaust system so that when we go out uh, for the grant we received, we can match what we currently have in the station. So resolution 2035 standardization of exhaust removal system, be it resolved by the Board of Fire Commissioners of the Northwest Fire District and the Town of Lysander and the Town of Van Buren, Onondaga County, State of New York, as follows. Section one, according to Article 5A of the General Municipal Law, expenditures exceeding $10,000 must comply with the provision of public bidding requirements set forth in section 103 of the General Municipal Law. This requirement is also set forth in policy one purchasing policy established by the Board of Fire Commissioners of the Northwest Fire District on the ninth day of April 2019. Section two, a Board of Fire Commissioners is allowed to allowed an exception to part of the public bidding requirement as set forth in section 1035 of the General Municipal Law upon a resolution by a vote of at least three fifths of the members of the Board of Fire Commissioners. There was, the resolution must state that for reasons of economy or efficiency, there is a need for standardization. Therefore, the board may award purchase contracts for a particular type of kind, type or kind of equipment, materials or supplies. However, the board must award the bid to the lowest responsible bidder after the furnishing of security and advertisement for bids. Section three, the board makes the following observations, comments, and findings regarding standardization for plyo vent source capture exhaust extraction system. The Northwest Fire District has made a considerable capital investment in source capture exhaust extraction system, and as such, plyo vent is more compatible with the current system. Plyo vent source capture exhaust extraction systems are readily available, and there are readily available service technicians to service the plyo source capture exhaust extraction system. Multiple fire district apparatus are currently compatible with the Plymo source capture exhaust extract system. The current apparatus would not be compatible with the competitor system. This would result in universal compatibility of all Northwest fire district apparatus with all stations Plymo vent source capture exhaust extraction system. Fire district personnel are familiar with the operation of the Plymo source capture exhaust system and it would result in no training time needed to have district personnel familiar with the Plymo source capture exhaust extraction system. For reasons of economy and efficiency, there is a need to standardize the Plymo source capture exhaust extract system as the Northwest Fire District's choice for Plymo source capture exhaust extraction system, approved by the Board of Fire Commissioners of the Northwest Fire District on the ninth day of December, 2020. Okay. Yes. Chris? Yes. Rick? Yes. Tony? Yes. Casey? Yes. Thank you. So I'm going to do the, the quick, easy one next. Um, I would like to make a motion to donate $100 to the cystic fibrosis um, in memory of Sarah Perkins. Can I have a second on that? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Uh, Chris, I'm assuming the phone system is you? 
Yeah, we're going to skip it. I don't have all the information right now. Um, okay. Just keep in mind that we are not renewing the annual contract yet with ITS for the maintenance on the system um, that we currently have. Um, it's not going to cause us any issues. We haven't called in uh, service on that at all this year. Um, so th there's nothing to worry about on that. It's just we're going to forego it for right now. Okay. Do you want to move it to January's meeting? Uh, yes. Um, I know station usage has no report, um, but we did at the November meeting or workshop get a request from Kevin Burler about the use of station one as a staging area for Girl Scout cookies in February. And we told him we would get back to him this month. So taking a look at his request and his plan, um, it appears to be a drive-through situation. Um, it, his, from what I can tell, his intention to have a couple of volunteers from the fire department um, and himself doing the cookies and just taking them to the cars and the cars just kind of doing a drive through. Uh, what's everyone's thoughts on this? I don't know. I, I'm kind of on the fence. I think it's a little bit too early to say yes or no. I think we need to wait till we're a little bit closer to February personally to see where we're at. I'm definitely on the fence. And if you said to me, we vote on it tonight. My answer is no, or my, my vote is no. Um, I think we should wait. Um, but if we vote tonight, I'm voting no. But I think we should wait. I, I don't mind waiting. I just don't want to jam him up um, as long True. as he has an, an, an ulterior plan or he has time. If we do wait till then, I think. I have talked to Kevin about it. I think his I think his plan is very well thought out, and it very much limits contact um, with the way he's doing it. But if if we're able to wait, then uh, I will go with the the rest of us and and wait and see what happens as we get into January. Just speaking out loud, um, Becky, for clarification, you you said that our people. He has a couple of our people that are willing to help them. So we're not bringing outsiders into the firehouse. That's Correct. how I read his proposal. Yes. That's how he explained it to me as well. They would stay it, in their vehicle. Well, that's, we, we have limited, we said members only. So if, if that's the case that maybe I jumped the gun when I spoke what I spoke, as long as we don't have outside people in, maybe that's an option. Maybe we can help them. Yeah, I mean, I really, I feel from reading what he said, it was really a drive-through situation. Like we did the drive-through chicken barbecue and it's, they're, they're coming up in their car, they're bringing the cookies out to them, they're driving off and the next person he's got it timed out so that there's limited people at the station at any one given time. Um, I, is, so. I, you know what, as long as it's, if he's got our old people doing it, I, I will support that but I just am not ready to let the public in to the building if that's the right word um we just got to be smart that's that's the real like anything else we're doing you know we got to be smart you know so do we want to give him the approval and just like maybe let him like maybe potentially do a backup plan just in case I I would agree with that. Okay. I believe I believe he does have an alternate source or he was working on an or alternate location should the commissioners not allow him to do it. Um, and I also think we still have a little more time if you felt more comfortable in waiting. I was trying to look for an email or text that uh, is to when his deadline was, but I just can't seem to find it fast enough. You, you know what? I, I, I think you're more comfortable. I, I think, I think we, we, it needs to be closer. It, it, I, I mean, if things take off the way every news channel and agency is taking off in January, mid January, we may not want anybody in the firehouse. So I don't know. Well, we can bring it back up in January. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the right call. I, I, can you make sure it gets back on the agenda?
Uh, comments. What is the help? date? I'm sorry. What is the date that he's looking for? It's like February. He gave a range, so I'm not sure. I don't think he That's has a, the exact February, date yet. February 8th to the 12th is the range he gave us. Okay. Um, any comments from the public? Going once? Going twice? Go. Uh, no need for an executive session. Uh, next meeting is the monthly workshop, which is going to be, oh no, it's not. We, we, um, we canceled the workshop. Because it's a couple days before Christmas. Uh, so the next meeting will be the organizational meeting, which will be January 12th. And with that, I will close the meeting at 8 p.m. Merry Christmas. Happy everybody. holidays, everybody. Absolutely. Yeah, to the public and who's ever on there, happy holidays. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Yep. Thank Merry you, Christmas. everybody. And John, thank you. It was a great year. Great working with you. I am going to stop the recording. Tony, did you get those hearing aids fixed?